There's actually two ways of playing jank. One way is having a combo and tutors, which we often do on this channel. Another way, which we've never explored on this channel, is playing every combo <laughs> and no tutors. Because today we're playing a deck just full of combos. Look at this. First combo here, Rosy Cotton. Uh, when Rosy Cotton ends the battle, you create a food token. And whenever you create a token, you put a plus count on target creature. Scurry Oak says, whenever one more plus count is, is put on Scurry Oak, you may create a squirrel. So that's an infinite loop. Next loop, Warren Soul Trader. Pay one life, sacrifice another creature, create a trash token. Shatterfang says, if one more tokens will be created under your control, those tokens plus that many squirrels is created. So this just gives infinite manas if we just do this. But if we add in a Blood Artist or a Silver for Cutthroat, we uh, win the game. Then we have Goblin Engineer plus Grease Fang. So Goblin Engineer can search for a artifact and put it in a graveyard. We're gonna put Parhelion in a graveyard. Then we have Grease Fang, which says, at the beginning of combat on your turn, you return a vehicle from your graveyard to the battlefield. It gains haste and return it to your hand at the beginning of your next end step. So we can just attack in with Parhelion. So that's nice that we have three combos, but why are we playing this? Well, the reason was, of course, that there's a new card in Modern Horizons called Primal Prayers, which just enables us to combo off immediately with these combos. It's not super relevant for Grease Fang Goblin Engineer, but it's very relevant for these two combos. So, when that's a battlefield, you get two energy, and you may cast creature spells with mana value three or less by paying an energy rather than paying their mana cost. If you cast a spell this way, you may cast it as though it had flash, and that is also perfect, because then we can play end of our opponent's turn, for instance, if you go off with Rosy Cotton Scurry Oak, and then they can't board wipe all the, uh, all the squirrels, and we can also probably use them to block. And uh, that, that's really good, so that's why, that's why we're doing this. Other than that, of course, since we are playing War and Soul Trader and Shatterfang, I probably said this already, we're playing Blood Artist and Solar Port Cutthroat, because else it's not uh, actually lethal damage. That's pretty much it. Let's jump into the game. Why choose a single combo when you can just play all of them? When you can just play all of them, is a genius. Maybe. Uh, so now we've got parts from different combos here. Uh, not looking super genius right now, but what we can do is just mulligan. We could also keep and hit good. With two options here. We hit good or mulligan. I think, actually, I think mulligan. Oh, okay, there's actually the entire combo. Uh, unexpected, sure, keep. Let's see, we don't need any red here. We already have red in this also. Perfect. I could not have asked for more. Oh, we even got a two drop. And actually, that's that's actually the entire combo because this only gives infinite mana. Doesn't win us the game. So. Doesn't even win us the game. Not yet. Oh, another chat. That doesn't do anything. Oh, well. No, that's... No, no, no. Oh, it does. It does. Because we can start the combo with the Shatterfang. Because when that... that no, we can't. No. No, it doesn't do anything. That's fine. You know what? That's fine. Completely fine. And fair. Ooh, Grease Fang. Doesn't do anything. Oh, we can now. Let's see here. We sacrifice the Sula port. Get Shatterfang Soul Trader. But then we can't win. So we should just play this and then play the Soul Trader. Right. Right. Make him a little bit angry. Make him a little bit angry. He's probably gonna target the Shatterfang anyways. And we don't need it because we have another Shatterfang. As it so happens. As it so happens. <laughs> so if we play, let's see, if we sacrifice Shatterfang now, we get four, play Primal Matters, Prayers, I mean. Play Shatterfang, Warren. We're in the exact same situation as we were last turn, yes. yes. Except we have the Sula Port then. Mm. If we could get one energy, we could get the energy land. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, I think we just eat this up and play the Primal Prayers anyways. Deal one damage. We could have attacked him. Put this down. We have two energy. And then end of his turn, we just play the combo. But we don't win exactly. But, <laughs> but we have the combo. You know? We don't win, but we have the combo. So. We almost win. Oh, we actually do win. Because uh, we have the Grease Fang. Because we can sacrifice the Grease Fang. I'm a genius. Okay. 
Whenever another creature ends the battlefield under your control. Good, 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 good. It's only your control. Okay, and end of his turn, we're gonna play. Who do we play first? It doesn't matter, right? Okay, play you. Badish, play you. Badish. And then it's our turn. My turn. And we have another combo here, actually, but it doesn't matter. I will play you, Alex. Play you. I'm gonna eat that up. Take action, also. Poor Helion. Poor for the course. Oh, by the way, you could actually get two combos off it. It's actually a little bit faster, I think, to do it like this. Where we play this, right? Auto pay. Badouche. All the combos. All the combos every time. Badouche, 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 Bashmak, but Parhelion. Uh, not this guy. Just Parhelion. Badouche. And then, we can sacrifice the Parhelion so we can play it next turn. It's so genius! This combo is genius! Okay. And, uh. I'm not gonna sacrifice anything more. Deal the damage. And then, we, now we can sacrifice the angels. And he loses the life point. And uh, wait, where did where did the Shatterfang go? Did I sacrifice the Shatterfang to play the Greece? Oh, I, oh, I sacrificed. Oh, but it worked out anyways. <laughs> I did. I sh should have sacrificed the Goblin, of course, but I sacrificed Shatterfang anyways. That's fine. Got it. Yeah, looking back at that replay, it looks hilarious. I just play the combo with Shatterfang immediately, sacrificing the Shatterfang, ruining the combo. Great job, Chris. I know, I know. I mean, we have the Grease Fang Engineer combo, almost. Like one card away from that combo, so I think we keep. I think we keep and we hit good. Man, do we have two Copperlang Gorg? I guess we do. I put in two of them, I guess. Jonas Venture, though. He's gonna consider his possibilities here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, that would have been nice to have a turn one. Yep, yeah, so, yeah, play you. Play you. Uh, take a little bit of action. Putting the poor alien in the nerd. In the nerd, you go. Oh, it's, it's a Jurassic Park. Man, I, I know this. I know this film. I don't watch many movies nowadays. Because I'm old. I know people don't watch movies. Because old people are of the uh, opinion often. That movies used to be better, back in their day. And I'm getting old, because I'm getting that opinion. <laughs> okay. Let's Merrick Orb, though. Badoosh. Two Kinerds. Two Kinerds. Yeah, I mean, we need the Grease Fang, so... Uh, Made do this, I think. Take action. Putting every Parhelion we have in the graveyard. And hope he doesn't have uh, so much... Something which exiles our graveyard, which he likely has, because he has a mesmeric orb, but yeah, we just hope it... Oh! How this smell is Oh, the, don't have that card which exiles our graveyard, because then we're done. Don't have that, please. We're great. We'll be great. We'll be great. Rhystic study? Okay, that's absolutely fine. Okay. Mill, 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 mill. Great. Oh, we can actually... Ah, oh, this is two or fewer, okay, but it doesn't matter. Grease Fang? Auto pay. I'm gonna decline this little thing. And uh, see what it does, though. Draws a card. And we get the Perelian. And the Perelian attacks in. Blast from the past with really, playing the Perelian, I gotta say. Boop! Boop! It's been a while. It was a good combo. I mean, it still is a good combo. Uh, yep, and the third. Get that back to the hand. And your turns are mill of the mill of the mills. Do you have anything good to mill here? Deep cavern bat, rustic study. Well, he is gonna mill a lot. Got him. There's only one combo left, which we haven't played, and it is in hand. It's the rosy cotton scurry oak. Pretty good stuffs. I don't know if we even needed the uh, put down two creatures at the same time card. I thought that would be very much needed, but I don't know. If you put enough combos in the deck, I mean, it's gonna be difficult for your opponent to deal with every combo. Got so many of them. Put down this. You can just play a Scurry Oak. I don't see why we wouldn't, since we have two of them. Play a Scurry Oak. Ooh, 
Oh, that's really good, though. Combo, combo, combo. Put you down. And pass the turn. Will our opponent do? Three manas. Enters the battlefield. Exile up to one creature and control is six a creature card. We get that in hand, okay? With the rosy cotton, that still good for us. Don't we? So we play this. Do we immediately pop off with this? Because Elsie could counter, right? Uh, yeah, I don't see why we wouldn't. So we just win there. Play you. Play you. And play you. And we got him. Got him, but not him. And pass counter. And take action. Oh, this one of these you need to click. <laughs> need to click. A click combo. A click of the click of the clicks. Oh, by the way, we don't win immediately. I realize that now. I know that's very slow. <laughs> Realizing that. <laughs> but we don't have a sack outlet. So we don't win on the spot. So take action. If we had the War and Soul trade, it would have won, of course. Could I have played that? No. Ah, he gave up anyways. We got him. I don't know if we necessarily needed that cop. That put down multiple creatures. But it felt safe, you know. If he had had something, then we would have had a plan to deal with. So... Mm, rosy Cotton Scurry Oak. That is a combo. So, keeply sneeply heaps. Two or fewer. Put this down. Unfortunately, we cannot play any card in our hand. <laughs> we need a land. We'll see, though. Cenote Scout. You know what the Cenote... I actually know what this is because I've been to uh, Mexico. That's like a lake or a pond. Oops, I don't know. I don't know what the, what the exact definition of a Cenote is, but it's... It's a wet hole. <laughs> it's, it's literally a wet hole. Come on. Okay, put down this. And... Uh, oh, yep. Let's see. Oh, so lit. Uh, he, he is oh so lit, this guy. The scout, though. With the exploration in the station. Can put a plus counter on artifact. Or creature cards. Topiary Stomper. What does Topiary mean? I have no clue. And magic. They printed so many cards. They, they ran out of words. I've said this multiple times. They have such weird words in this game. I don't even understand what's going on here. Okay. The plus counter on this. Uh, take action. Oh, oh, we need to click. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And if this wasn't Tor... If this could just... I don't know. <laughs> Put a plus counter on every creature, would that be really good? Yeah, that would be really good, but still. It would also make the combo so much easier. We got him. Captain! My captain. Is there more jank in the tank? Well... We haven't really, really, really won. With the... Uh, the, the, we comboed off a little bit the first game there with the Shatterfang, but we haven't really won with the Shatterfang combo. So, here we have the Engineer combo, so we definitely... Now, you always... Like, if you put in three combos in your deck, you're always gonna have one, right? Why don't more people do this? Is there a reason? <laughs> Why does everybody just play one combo? One deck, one combo. Why not put in three combos? You're gonna hit one, you know? Why put in tutors? It's gonna take more time. Faster this way. Uh, poor Elion, yes. We need to think, yes. I need, I need, <laughs> I need a moment to think there. Hmm. What is the correct player? That Goblin Engineer does not matter, but sure. We just are gonna love Vigilance. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Grease Fangers. Rock and phones. It's a Grease Fang. Gonna rock the microphone, rock the microphone. Almost it. Gun. When I was young. Piano if you want Playing magic was just for fun. Those days are gone. Nah! Now we're just playing to win. Playing to win. Putting in every combo. Uh actually we missed missed on combo? I have a feeling we'll draw into one, though. I think with, like, with this many combos, we gotta draw into one of our combos, surely, right? Like, what are the odds of us missing on all these combos? I mean, it's not gonna happen, surely. Stone of Erech. 
Oh, uh, first combo has arrived. Challenger has arrived. A combo has arrived. Okay. Goblin in there. And that Orhidian there. In the graveyard. It also confuses your opponent, I think, when you play this many combos. So you're like, oh, are you playing the Prohelia combo? No, I'm playing the Scorioga. What is going on? Okay. Shadow Spear. That's why I call it. <laughs> it's also what I call it. I don't know. <laughs> something. Uh, inappropriate reference something. Mm hmm. I will just play the Scorio. Because that's going to draw some, some attention to it. And then a real plan is just to play the Primal Praise. Oh! Okay. Goblin Engineer Scorio. When you, say, when you see Goblin Engineer Scorioak, you're like, this guy loves combo. <laughs> he loves comboing so much, he just put in every combo. And that's essentially what we did, though. Put in every combo piece. Uh, exile target player's graveyard. Okay, I mean, actually, that's not too bad, because that's not the combo we were going for. <laughs> that's not the combo we are going for. You silly, silly man. Um... Oh, well, actually, with the Scurry Oak, we win with this, don't we? I'm pretty sure. Uh, the prayers. Get the menace. Uh, let's see, does it matter? How more tokens would be created? Uh, no, this this only works with Pascal, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna this. Uh, wait. It has evolved, yeah, 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 whenever creature on this battlefield, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Put down this guy. So it's gonna evolve infinitely, isn't it? It's another combo, I didn't think about it, because it has evolved. Uh, create a uh, squirrel. And we can eat up this squirrel. Or infinitely, I mean, we're gonna lose life every time. Oh, wait. Uh... Uh, well, no, it doesn't evolve, because it's only... Whenever a creature enters, anyways. Uh, anyways, sacrifice this. Get another manas. Chris, you dingus. This is not an infinite combo. Sacrifice X squirrels. Um, let's see. Evolve. Whenever creature enters, but if that creature has greater power, oh, that's what it was. Okay. <laughs> that's evolve mechanic. Okay, now I know. Uh, yeah, this wasn't really infinite because we didn't have the solar port. Still, I mean, it's a lot of dudes. <laughs> it's a lot of dudes on the board. Uh, forgot that, yeah, this just gives infinite manas. Yeah, if you don't have... Uh, not that the solar board doesn't really win you the game, so... How could you forget that, Chris? I don't know. I don't know. I just... Okay, he gave up anyways. Okay, this time, we actually have the combo. We have Warren Soldier, the Shatterfang, and the solar port. And a Scary Oak, which can just... Throw away, sacrifice and start a combo, because you need one more card to actually start a combo. A little unfortunate. With the war and soldier. Okay. Badank. Badank, badunk. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> we cannot win with this combo anymore. Uh, we cannot win with the scurry. Oh, we kind of need to win with Parhelion. Would be great to do that. Would surely be great. Silaport. Giving him a life point, unfortunately. Um. Uh, yeah, I mean we can get a lot of mana though and play a Parhelion. And um, Parhelion doesn't have haste, right? No. 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 Doesn't have haste, of course. Of course, it doesn't have haste. Why would it have haste? Play a Scurry Oak and uh, give him a life point. There's no way he's trading, and if he's trading, I think that's actually good for us. Ah, I dug it. <laughs> Chicken! <laughs> I've done this so many times and regretted it. If you follow this channel, you know. Oh lord, he actually has the Ajainers. This guy's a bows. Your soul can inspire. Your soul can inspire a lot of things. Mm. Yeah, we need the War on the Soul Trader, else we're not doing anything. And we need the Shatterfang to start things. Well, play you, I guess. Giving him a life point, unfortunately. Yep. And uh, take action. Wait, that. Wait, wait. 
I want it to go though, because we can block with this, so... That's good. We could also eat up... Oh, if we eat up all these three, play the Shatterfang... Get the manas, get the parheel... Wait, this guy's gonna be huge if we do that. Um... Man, if we could just get rid of this Soul Warden, <laughs> this would have been so much easier. Soul Warden! <sighs> now, I think we want to keep the Scurry Oak. I mean, I might regret this, but I think we'll just put on this. Frack. Frack! Okay. Yeah. That's a big dude now. Big duders. We have to pop off next turn here. But, maybe we should have... Frack. This had haste. Whenever we gain life, each opponent loses one life. Oh, that is not good for us. Because now if we start comboing off, <laughs> we die. <laughs> right! What a pickle! We made a deck which is horrible versus the life gain deck. And that's the most popular deck. Oh, no! Okay. Ah, uh, well, this guy's coming in for Schmacks, I think. Oh, he's not? Okay. Interesting. My turn. Ah. Uh. How do we even... <laughs> how do we even do anything? Oh wait! Sacrifice X squirrels, target creature gets... Oh yes! Oh yes! Yes! We can actually have a chance of doing something here. So in response here... I'm gonna sacrifice a single squirrel. That guy right there. He goes. Got him. <laughs> we got him. Chris now has a functioning brain. Okay. That guy's gonna evolve. That's fine. Because now we get a little bit of uh, duders. And we can eat up that duders, and now he starts losing life. And we gain life. Ooh, beautiful. Now we just need to do this a lot of times. Hope they don't time out. Ah. Yeah. yeah, I figured out. Man, this combo is good. The fact that you have a way of getting around the uh, creature. And I, and I never thought about it, because I never read any... Read, never read any cards ever. So, I didn't even play the Porhelion. Not that too. Probably a waste of time, because we're probably gonna be very close to timing out anyways, but... Yep. Balunk. Balunk, balunk, balunk. Yep. Yep. Ball at the time, ball at the time. We're getting there. So getting there. So happening. Yep. One more this. These things only appear when it attacks. I was thinking maybe when you block also. Do not often block with it. But, uh, no, we're not gonna do this. Uh, cancel. We could do it though. Get rid of all his duders. If we are about to time out, we could remember to do this and just clear up his dudes. Here. We're not gonna do that. But we could. Keeping that in the back of our minds. If things get too hectic, we could just clear up his border. Yeah. We have a lot of mana now. Lord Manas. Lord Manas. 19 Manas. Slowly falling to this. 20. Getting him. 22. Not gaining any life. But we got, we, 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 we got him. Hello, Daniel. And you are? It's -a me, the YouTube algorithm. And well, what are you doing here? I'm just here to take those views. No, the, those are my views. Oh, I can explain to you, senor. You see, you have subs zero percent and non-subs a hundred percent. That's why you can take all your views. <laughs> I guess it's time that you uh, check out a little. Something down there.